and sir, uh, you objected to the recommendation. What was the reason for objecting? I, <clears throat> I feel I shouldn't have to pay for both households. If I'm paying that much, he can live off my, my income. And then I have five other people that I'm supporting in my house as of now. In today's video, we have a child support hearing involving a father who believes he's ordered to pay too much after his child support went from just under $300 to $800 a month. Therefore, he has filed an objection on the support order. Let's see what the judge has to say. Retry! All right, we'll take up file 2016 Natasha Wilson and Steven Erickson both are here via Zoom. And this is a day and time set for a hearing uh, on a support review objection. Uh, Ms. Hummel's here from front of the court. Ms. Hummel, do you have an update or uh, update the matter? Yes, I did a review based on the information that both parties and their employers submitted information. Um, it comes out to the defendant paying 691 child support, 42 medical support for a total of 733. Also an additional $50 for confinement, that's $25 um, per child. And um, that makes the total 783 a month, effective April 1st of 2023. The amounts used are the exact amounts both parties gave for their income information, for the number of overnights, number of additional, additional children. The other party is does have the minor children active Medicaid, and they are receiving food assistance, which with this amount going up, will adjust that food assistance amount. All right, and uh, what's support currently set at? Support's currently at 166 child support, 30 medical support, 50 confinement. And I believe it hasn't changed. It was set that back in 2016. So 246 currently from 2016. All right. All right. And sir, uh, you objected to the recommendation. What was the reason for objecting? I, <clears throat> I feel I shouldn't have to pay for both households. If I'm paying that much, he can live off my, my income. And then I have five other people that I'm supporting in my house as of now. There's no way I can afford to get a house, which I'm in the process of buying a new house, and pay her that much money. There's no way I can afford it. Um, Ms. Uh, Ms. Hummel, what income did you use for Mr. Uh, Erickson? His exact income of 22... Twenty-two twenty-five an hour. That's what he stated, and his employer times forty hours. He only has fifty-two overnights with the minor children. Okay. And I get kids extra too through the summer. I put down what the court ordered me to have, but we do do week on week off in the summer at times. Oh, so you get additional. We haven't done that, and. We have not done that in three years. I've had, I just had them a week of last summer, several times. I always get no, Gavin or Aiden extra time. I either get one or the other extra. That. Yeah, we have not done week on, week off in three years. He will take an extra night here or there, but not a, a week. We haven't done that in three years. Okay. Um, and Ms. Hummel, what income did you use for Ms. Uh, Wilson? Thirteen fifty an hour times forty hours. And that's uh, ma'am. Uh, so, ma'am, do you have any other income from any other source? Uh, no. Sir, do you have any other income from any other source? No. Nope. He did get a credit for over a thousand dollars for three additional children that are his. All right. So those were uh, those were put into the calculation. Yep. All right, so sir, you're given credit for uh, for having those additional children. I was given what credit? Just My a, tax return. No. no, the system, the child support calculation, asks how many additional children you have, and Ms. almost said that resulted in 
a thousand dollar credit. So Ms. Hummel, would his support be a thousand dollars more without those kids or is it? It would be quite a bit more because he got a credit taken off the amount of income that he has available by $1,042 and 20 cents. Per month? For per three kids? For three kids? For three children. But you don't take in the fact of a house and everything else when my lot rent's going up, food's going up. I don't get state assistance. I don't get no help. I don't get state Medicaid. I can only go by what the calculator states, especially when there is public assistance involved. So, uh, yeah, sir, the, uh, I guess, uh, ma'am, uh, do you agree with the recommended amount or not? I agree. I mean, I think it's fair. I've been plenty nice for seven years. So, sir, we're pretty much uh, required to follow the child support formula uh, when kids receive public assistance. And uh, this child receives, these kids receive uh, Medicaid and food assistance in mom's home. Um, the, the only, uh, I guess the only deviation would be as if it was inappropriate or unjust for some reason and based on your income, and your limited overnights uh, doesn't appear to be inappropriate or unjust. Your income uh, would be about thirty eight hundred a month. So, you, so this is going to be taking two hundred some dollars a week out of my check when I bring home four hundred fifty dollars with what my bills are right now. I mean, I can't live off yeah. of two hundred dollars a week and put two hundred, three hundred dollars of food in my house for my kids. You guys don't take in the fact that uh, food prices are going up or what? The formula is adjusted every year for cost of living, inflation, all kinds of things. Obviously, it ain't very good. How long have you been making uh, 22 and a quarter an hour? Uh, maybe five months at the tops. What were you making before that? Uh, I don't know. I just It's hard to say because I get a raise every... They do it every like couple of years or something. Okay. Um, Cause I can tell you 166 a month that you ordered to pay back in 2016 was probably based on. That's what she, that's okay. what she agreed to. Okay. So Cause they tried getting us with this much and they're like, well, I was like, I really can't afford it. And she agreed with us about it. Okay. I guess that agreement. I can tell you if I'm going to be paying this about seven years and uh, you got, Quite yeah, there's been for those seven years. There's been no issue with it for seven years. I mean, she don't ever ask me for help. But you have I the don't right have to have, an issue helping. You have the right to have support reviewed every three years. Yeah, she hasn't done it yet. Okay, but she did now, and she's in agreement with the recommendation. But she don't now. ask for she help at all. To pay it. The only reason she's asking now is because of her boyfriend pushing the issue. She's not asked. This was a statutory requirement by the state. When there's public assistance, I, we are required to review it every three years. This was not brought on by her request at all. Okay, but it's been seven years and we haven't had a review period. And she's been on state assistance for seven years. I can't say what's happened to the three years ago. What happened with that review? All I can tell you is that this review at this time with the minor children receiving public assistance, we're required to run the guidelines per the state, how they have it set up. This is what the guidelines come out to. And I'll just fight for custody of my kids because she's unfit anyways. <laughs> okay, Steven. I mean, CPS has been involved at her house for years. And it's been case closed every time that you've called on me. So there was, never a review, there was a review notification sent out in December of 2019. Nobody uh, responded, so it was dismissed. There was active assistance. It should have continued, but at the time, the practice was to close. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the only time it was uh, set up for review. It was 2019. Nobody responded, and it was dismissed, but... Um, all right. Well, sir, if you uh, if you address custody or parenting time and uh, your overnights increase, obviously that's a change in circumstances and support can be rerun consistent with that. But at this point, it doesn't appear that the amount recommended is inappropriate or unjust. So effective April 1st, 
Support to be set at 691, 42 ordinary medical, 50 confinement, total of 783 per month. You get an order in the mail uh, to that effect. Um, either of you have the right to object to this uh, uh, recommendation and order within 21 days and have the judge uh, take a look at it. The language will be in the order for uh, how you uh, go about doing that. But we're all set for now. So it goes April 1st? The effective April 1st, yeah. So it started this month? A week ago, yeah. So how's that work now that we're already two weeks into it, two pay periods into it? So now I'm already behind child support? That makes zero sense. There'd be a there'd be a slight uh, arrearage that'll be made up uh, by an extra. So I got to pay account. extra again for something that I have no control over. This makes a lot of sense. Well, you do have control over it. Uh, you you have very limited overnights. You only have uh, every other weekend all year long. That's uh, pretty limited. little control over it. Just like she hasn't worked in seven years until now. Who's claiming my kids? That should be tax fraud, right? I don't know. If it's brought to my attention that uh, there's an issue, then I'll deal with it. But today we're up for the support amount. I mean, I'll definitely be taking her to court for custody of my kids. I can promise you that. All right. Well, he was not happy. As my grandmother used to say, you made your bed. Now you got to lay in it. It sounds like there are underlying issues with this case. The father mentions CPS and the mother doesn't work, but he does have the choice to take the kids more or fight for custody. At the end of the day, he's got kids to pay for. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.